What is up, guys? We and it, it is the Blue Bloods here. Y'all know we come on to give y'all the latest breaking news of college football, and we have one of the top Power Five job openings now filled as Joey McGuire has been announced as the next head coach of Texas Tech football. And the Red Raiders wasted no time making their move as this was announced last night this morning by Pete Thamel from Yahoo Sports, also Don Williams and Carlos Sylvia Jr. from the Lubbock Avalanche Journal uh, late last night. And so this is a big move. They hired Baylor assistant head coach Joey McGuire to take over for Matt Wells at Texas Tech. And in case you guys aren't familiar with this whole situation, Texas Tech decided to move on from Matt Wells about two weeks ago after their 5-3 and three start to the season. And Sonny Cumbie has been serving as the interim head coach and will continue to serve that role for the rest of the year. But McGuire will come in and be involved with the program, get his recruiting set up, and start working on his staff and other such things. But for Matt Wells being fired two weeks ago, he was in his third season in Lubbock, and he went 13 of 17, 7 for 16 in the Big 12 and finished below eighth in both of his first two seasons in the conference at Texas Tech. Now, he was hired from Utah State after the 2018 season, ha had the Aggies at 10 and 2 the year before and had an overall 44 and 34 record at his time at Utah State now. The Red Raiders really wanted to make this hire as soon as possible because of the early signing period. Their recruiting class right now only has nine commits. It's really behind schedule. They wanted a strong recruiter. And they wanted someone who could come in, get established, and really try to make an impact before that early uh, signing day came in December. Now, they also wanted some stability into the program as someone who can build a culture. You know, all of the quotes said that the biggest thing is strong ties in the state of Texas, recruiting success in Texas, and someone who could sell West Texas, and everything that Texas Tech had to offer was the most important thing to the AD and presidents and everyone that had an impact on this Texas Tech coaching search. Now, you might be confused, and, you know, and I'm here to give you all the information, so who is Jo Joey McGuire and why is he the guy for the Red Raiders and what will what will he bring? So Joey McGuire is currently the associate head coach at Baylor under Dave Aranda and is currently in his fifth season inside the Baylor program on that coaching staff, but was just promoted to assistant head coach in 2019 and also currently coaches outside linebackers for the Bears while also having previously served as a tight end and DN coach for the Bears during the Matt Rule era. He's been on the staff from the 1-11 season, right after all the allegations and turnovers happened, all the way till this year where they found themselves top 20 in the country, and also a big part of that staff that saw Baylor get to the Big 12 championship, unexpectedly make a top 10 run in the college football playoff ranking. So he's been there for the entire culture rebuild at Baylor, and he has strong Big 12 ties and strong recruiting ties in Texas due to the fact that he was inducted in 2020 into the Texas High School Coaches Association Hall of Honor, and that stemmed from his time as the head coach at Cedar Hill High School for 14 seasons, and in those 14 seasons, he won three championships at the Division 5A, uh, it's a Division 2 5A level in Texas, and he's had major, major success in Texas. He has strong connections to a lot of the high schools that Texas Tech wants to be able to recruit from. And his connections to Texas high school football is what makes him such a perfect fit and why he was the perfect guy for the job while also having major experience at the Big 12 level in the state of Texas. I mean, he was there under rule. He was there under Aranda. And he knows what has to be done to get a program turned around. And he's had multiple players drafted from underneath him and James Lynch, Braven Ray, Clay Johnson, William Bradley King. All these guys were people from his position that went to the NFL draft and now are on NFL rosters. And the other thing is just his recruiting success in general. Baylor has not finished lower than fifth in the Big 12 with McGuire on the staff outside of his first transition year. And that's something Texas Tech has greatly needed because they haven't finished in the top half of the Big 12 since like 2005. 
So recruiting is the big selling point here for Texas Tech because they understand they have to have someone who can keep up with the times and get Texas Tech into that upper echelon of the Big 12. And this is something big was the Texas connections I keep mentioning. It's because there was 23 blue chip recruits in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and Texas Tech landed none of them last recruiting cycle. That's something that can't happen, and they they really think Joey McGuire can come in here, recruit the state of Texas, and get these kids to Texas Tech, and they'll compete for Big 12 titles year in and year out. And that is the expectation around Texas Tech. Now, to, let's get to the expectations. The Big 12 is about to lose Texas and Oklahoma in the coming seasons. They're adding BYU, adding Cincinnati, adding Houston, and adding UCF. So that leaves two or more open spots nearer at the top of the Big 12. Texas Tech believes that they have a right to one of those spots and that they can they can get to the top of the Big 12 and be dominant and win multiple Big 12 titles. And the number one thing they want to do is turn this recruiting around. Only nine commits in their next class, and they think McGuire can come in and land some of those top kids in Texas to start the rebuild, get these nine guys to stay in the class, but also just raise the overall level of Texas Tech recruiting, which has really been a problem over these past few years. Now, a lot of people, if you're my age, remember – the Michael Crabtree years at Texas Tech, where Texas Tech was a problem. They remember even when Patrick Mahomes were there, you could guarantee this team was putting up points and they were at least going to be a tough team to beat. And that's where Texas Tech wants to get back, work their way to get back to and elevate this program to the top of the Big 12. A lot of people, and I think Texas Tech people, feel the same way. They feel like they can go win the Big 12 in the coming years if they recruit Texas well. Everyone else is recruiting Texas well. TCU's recruited Texas well at times. Baylor's recruited Texas well. Texas at times. But now with the national expansion of recruiting, you've seen this with USC. Some of these other schools are having tough times to keep in-state prospects at home as recruiting becomes more and more national. A lot of recruits aren't staying at home. They are going to the schools that want them. And, they, and with travel, social media, things like that, the expansion of recruiting has been a problem, but Texas Tech wanted a guy who had the connections, who the players love, who has, I mean, if you ask any high school player in the state of Texas that knows Joey McGuire, they all have raved about this guy, have rave reviews about him. So Joey McGuire, that alone, the Texas connections and his ability to be a top recruiter has Texas Tech very excited about his future, but I'm expecting Texas Tech to give him three to five years to get this program going, but they're going to expect Joey McGuire to come in here and win a Big 12 title within his first probably four or five seasons, or at least be in the championship game, especially when Texas and Oklahoma exit the conference. I feel like Texas Tech believes at that point they're going to be ready to take over the conference and be the next powerhouse. And also the expectations and why he really fit is he's a defensive minded guy. Anyone who's watched college football understands Texas Tech has been an offensive powerhouse for years. The number one thing missing has been a defense. And Joey McGuire is a defensive minded guy. He's going to bring in a strong defensive coordinator and he can recruit outside linebacker, defensive ends, defensive line. And I think he is going to be tasked with rebuilding the defense and also the perception of a defense because you look at what Oklahoma has done with their defenses. It's slowly but surely improved under Grinch. He's going to be looking for his Alex Grinch and he's going to be looking to change the perception of Texas tech football into a more balanced team perception rather than just an offensive juggernaut that can't stop anybody. So the expectations for me early are to compete, but also I think they're going to want a big 12 title within the first five years of Joey McGuire being at Texas Tech or at least being at the upper echelon of this conference, especially as Texas and Oklahoma exit their way out. Now, you know, I wanted to keep this a shorter episode just because it was a breaking news, give y'all the gist of everything, give y'all my thoughts on it. So for a grade, I'm giving this an A- minus for Texas Tech because one, you know, A plus is reserved for just like the top of the top. But for me, this was a perfect fit for them. They, like I said, they need somebody who can recruit Texas because to succeed at any school outside of, you know, the powerhouses, you're going to have to recruit at home. And Texas Tech has found a guy that can do that. And their goal was to find someone who could sell West Texas and sell Texas Tech. 
Joey McGuire is that guy. And so for me, that saw the number one thing on their checklist is crossed out, and they found a guy to do that. Also, he's been on very successful staffs. You found the culture builder who's seen it done twice. You've seen it done under Aranda. You've seen it done on a grand scale with Matt Rule. He knows what it takes. And so for me, Joey McGuire was due for this. He's had success at every level he's been at. This is his opportunity. And to get a defensive guy who can change the perception, bring a toughness to the program, knows how to build a culture, can be a strong recruiter, I give it an A- minus because this is one of the better hires that I think Texas Tech could have made, especially with how competitive the coaching, the coaching carousel is right now. And I give them a little bit of boost in their grade because they made it on November 8th. It gives them over a month to get the recruiting class together. Gives them over a month to keep the non-recruits they have and also go get some people, have some time to build a staff, have some time to win the fan base around you and win the community in Lubbock up until that next season starts. So I give them, I give Texas Tech an A- minus for their hire of Jerry Maguire or Joey Maguire, my bad. But I thought it was an outstanding hire for Texas Tech in a great timing in terms of making a move. So that those are my thoughts, guys. Comment below what you think of this hire, what you think of Texas Tech's future, and just your overall takeaways of Joey McGuire from Baylor headed to Texas Tech to be the next head coach. If you're new, smash that subscribe button. Also, make sure to tune in tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, live for our College Football Week 11 mailbag, and tune in the rest of the week for our Week 11 College Football previews for all the biggest games of the week, man. But I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all have a great Monday night. But until next time, man, the Blue Bloods are out. Mm -hmm.